Hello and welcome to Zivolt in the Netherlands for this, the second event in the Super Series Strongman World Championship. This event brings together the top six strength athletes in the world and puts them against a mixture of wildcard athletes and local heroes at each new venue. Ultimately, these men are going for the title of world champion. But this event lasts five competitions over one year. So it's not so much about victory as pure survival. We've got the top six in the world here. We've got Pudzanowski, Zavikas, Bergmanis, Carlson, all the guys who came top six in Hawaii, the first IFSA Super Series of the year. There's five throughout the year. Let's have a look at the competitors. Sven Carlson, world strongest man of 2001 in Zambia. He'll be a threat. He has several world records, one in the log lift. That's the first event. Yanni Virtanen, world's strongest man from 2000. We got Yarek Dimmick, the pole, Pudzanowski's training partner, and top five in the world easily. We have Rene Minkwitz, the Danish Viking. Watch out for him in the weight for height, where he's one of the best in the world. Anders Johansson, ex powerlifter from Sweden. Zadrunas Zavikas, second in world's strongest man. He's a great, great battler. Raymond Spergmanis, three times at the Olympic Games. The Latvian flag carrier at Barcelona 92. Maurius Pudzanowski, world's strongest man from 2002. He's now gunning for the World Championship Super Series. We have three other men as well up the top. Jan Ohams of Holland, Fekedi of Hungary and Ruska of Holland as well. This is it, the first event. Log lift for maximum weight. The rules are simple. The athlete who lifts the greatest amount of weight overhead is the winner. It's gonna be a rising bar and the athletes choose when they wanna come in. We have the world record holder here today, Sven Carlsson, 185 kilos. He did that in Stockholm, Sweden in the Super Series last year. This log is thick though. Anyone who does 160 kilos will be world class. I imagine 165, maybe 170 is possible on such a thick log. But with so many good competitors, it's not just Sven Carlsen that can win this competition. We have Raymond Spergmanis, he's got a great log lift. So does Anders Johansson, the power lifter. So, coming in at 150 kilograms, it's Yarek Dimmick. We've seen three weights already. Dimmick clear at 120 and 140 kilos. He passed at 130. Incredibly strong pole. What a training partner to have in Marius Pudzanowski. The world's strongest man. Well, he had it for a second, but Jamie Reeves didn't give it to him. I don't think he was pleased with the lockout on the elbows. Unlike the clean and jerk, the log lift, you have to curl up with your biceps. And then it crushes down on your chest. I'd be amazed if he gets this in the second attempt. He's run out of breath. He still had time. Just feeling a little dizzy there. World record holder Sven Carlson to the log. 150 kilos. You'd imagine he'd make light work of this, the big Norwegian. Yeah, he knocked that up so fast. He almost lost his footing. The local man, Jarno Hams. He knows this equipment. It is the Dutch equipment. That's got to be a help. Kind of like home turf in football. Strong man, you have a home field advantage with your equipment. 150 kilos, looks good. We've had some failures already. Yanni Virtanen dropped out at 120 kilos. In fact, he's pulled out of the whole competition. That thigh injury from World's Strongest Man last year still plaguing him. Zadrunas Zavikas, the Lithuanian, also clear, 150 kilos. Maurius Pudzanowski should be good for 150. 
He's got awesome tricep power. And a very good leg snap as well. Impressive lift there. You would have imagined Dimmick. The other pole would have been better at this. Normally he is. Washburg Manis here, the Olympic lifter. Great footwork. And he's worked a lot at his tricep power. A man who's clean and jerk, 245 kilos. You'd think he'd make light work of 150 in the log, but it's really quite a different event. René Minkvitz of Denmark. The last man to go at 150 kilos. Laszlo Fekedi of Hungary, Shak Ruska of Holland have also failed at earlier weights. Goodness me, Minkvitz, a bear of a man failed at the first go. Just didn't have the power there. Well, he's looking like he's going to go for a second attempt. But usually if you fail in the first one, you're not good for the second one. I'd bet my house, my car, and several other things on the fact he won't get this. It would be unbelievable in this heat if he could produce a second attempt at it. Oh, my goodness me! That is unbelievable! Jamie Reeves gives him the white flag. Mingvitz goes clear at 150, and it looked easy. What was the first attempt all about? The bar has risen. 155 kilos. Jarno Hams of the Netherlands. He's psyched up, he's pumped up. Can he get the weight up? He goes clear, 155. First man to go clear. We've had two passes at this weight. Sven Carlsen and Anders Johansson, the Swede, have both passed at 155, opting to go for 160. They do have that option, keep their energy. But if they fail at 160, they're in trouble. This is Podzanowski. Good lift. Great lift, in fact, by the Polish power, Marius. You'd expect him to be there or thereabouts in every event. So that was it for 155. Bergmanis and Minkwitz passing as well. Start of the next round. 160 kilograms. Jarno Hams. No good from Jarno Hams there. Disappointment. Former world's strongest man and former world record holder in the log, Jamie Reeves, refereeing here. Shouts to him, 30 seconds left. Reeves managed 180 kilograms. That took the record off Kazmar back in the late 80s. No good. Donna Hams refused at the last hurdle. Still 155, a good lift for him. Zadrunas Zavikas, 155. I beg your pardon, 160. Is he good for 160? Oh, so close! My goodness me, he's leaning back so far, he's almost bench pressing at 160 kilos. Oh! No good. This log is really thick. It has to be said, a normal log about 12 inches thick, this more like 16 inches. Really digs in at your face. It's hard to see from this camera angle, but it's sitting right on your nose, chin, windpipe, crushing you down. Pudzanowski, 160. Fantastic, he goes clear. First man to do so at 160. Failures from Johansson and Carlson as well at 160. That brings out Raymond's Bergmanis. The Olympic lifter, 36 years old now. Fantastic lifting there, straight up, you see that? Using almost no tricep. 
René Minkfitz. Does he have what it takes? Good to the chest. Do you remember him failing 150 the first time? Unbelievable. He came out and battled again. Almost there. I think he's got it. Oh, that's unbelievable. 160 kilos. He passed on 155, so we have three men left in the competition going forward to 165. That's well in excess of 350 pounds. This surely will be the deciding weight. Marius feeling the heat. 30 degrees here in Holland, <laughs> sweltering. 165 kilos. I don't think he can even get it off his chest. He's struggling. No, no, no good. Current world's strongest man there knows when he's beaten. René Minkfitz watches on as Bergmanis of Latvia goes for the lift. If they all fail, they will draw on 160. You don't think, oh my goodness me, he pressed it out at the end. Bergmanis manages it, 165 kilos. The pressure is on Minkfitz. Raymond. Bojanovski is not reason. <laughs> Can Rene do it? It's possible, yeah. He struggled at 150. He made 160 look pretty easy. He's getting better and better. Oh. Surely he's if I use it, If he uses the legs a little bit more, he did. So it looks like you're the winner here today, then, in yeah. the first event. Congratulations, Thank Remus. Thank you. It's a no bad start. But anyway, six events, it's forward. And something wrong is uh, it's possible. But I fight, I told you. Congratulations. Thank you. Very modest indeed. That was better than OK. That was magnificent lifting. First place and 11 points go to Raymond Bergmanis. Second equal, Marius and René. It's going to be a battle as we move forward to the next event, the yoke race. The second event today is the super yoke. At 800 pounds and nearly 360 kilos, this event is backbreaking. The weight of two motorbikes. You don't just stand up with it, you have to run 25 meters with it. The world record, unbelievable 9.95 seconds by Sven Carlsen. So Sven, can you break that today? Uh, on grass, it's not possible. And uh, with this, uh, with this object here, I've never seen this before, this particular car in New York. So I don't know, maybe it's fast, maybe it's not, but uh, any world records we're not gonna see it today because if you wanna do that, you need to do it on asphalt. What's possible then on grass? I would say around 13 seconds. And who can match you in this? Anyone here? Uh, you never know, these young crazy guys are coming up with new fantastic results every competition, but uh, I hope I still can be number one in this. Sven is up against it, Marius Podzanowski, Jarno Hams, all of these guys are able at the super yoke, but Sven, he does have that confidence thing over them. They know he's the champ, the world record holder at this. Can he hold it together here in Holland? Well, we're going in reverse order of the last event. That meant Jarek Dimmick and Laszlo Fekedi went first with Ruska and Johansson following on. So the time to beat at the moment by Dimmick, 21.90 seconds. Carlson in the white, Zajuna Savikis in the blue. Carlson going fast. I don't think he'll break the 13 seconds he wanted. 17.19 for Carlson. A great time. Savikas, half a second behind. I don't behind. think this is going to be fast enough. 
today. But it's hard to walk on grass, so you never know. And as I said, this is new equipment that I don't feel like is a top time. But still, a few hours to go. We never know. Maybe it's enough. But I don't think I distance myself enough from Sudrunas to that to be a good time. Who could do it then? Marius, I think. And uh, Jarno. We're about to see exactly what those two can do. Jarno hands there with the white knee wraps on. Marius Pudzanowski in the blue shorts. Oh, Jarno Hams is off like a train. Pudzanowski stumbled, that's bad news. 17.19 seconds to beat, that's Carlson's time. It's gonna be very tight. He's sprinting, this is awesome running with the super yoke. He's done it, Hams' time, 15.17. Pudzanowski just short of 19 seconds, that puts him into fourth place. Last two competitors in the super yoke. Minkvitz in red, Bergmanis in white. Minkvitz had a terrible injury back in 98, Malta World's Strongest Man. That day he slipped a couple of discs in the super yoke. You can see just how possible that is. Bergmanis, he's gonna be close to 20 seconds. I don't think he's good enough to beat Pudzanowski though. 20.10, he's not done it. And so Minkvitz finishes this safely. So strong, just lacking a bit in confidence in this event. 30.47 for Minkwitz. Congratulations, Jarno. Well done in front of the home crowd. Did you expect such a good time? Uh, I expected a good time, but Swent is normal. Normally Swent is king and uh, ruler in this. So I was hoping on getting 16 or 17 seconds because he didn't look so solid, but uh, two seconds faster than Sven Carson. Who could have thought? The king has been knocked off his throne. Jarno Hams, now the man to beat in Super Yoke. Hams, with that victory, goes in the lead on 19 points. Pudzanowski in third on 17 and a half. Bergmanis, one point behind. The next event, the Husafelt Stone, originating from Iceland, where legend has it that the king of Iceland gave away his daughter's hand in marriage if a suitor could beat her in a stone-carrying competition. She remained unmarried, but back then there was no Marius Pudzanowski. Jamie, can anyone beat this magnificent man? 127 meters he's done as his world record. Well, that's uh, some distance, but this stone is very, very heavy. It's 180 kilos, which is around 30 stones in weight. Uh, 100 meters is a hell of a distance. 127, you're going into like superhuman territory. And who would argue with Jamie Reeves? He knows his stuff. Pudzanowski really is a superman. Unless he's carrying kryptonite, I bet he'll win this event. 130 meters is the world record. Just short, 127 and a half to be exact. Raymond Bergmanis charges off. 185 kilos crushing down on his chest. We've already seen Yarek Dimmick go in this event and several others. Dimmick the best so far. He's done 76.85 meters. So Bergmanis has a target to chase up 25 meters. Back 25 meters. He's got to turn and go back up again to get 75. The lactic acid starting to kick in in Bergmanis' legs. He's in a world of pain right about now. Mind over matter stuff for the big Latvian. One foot over the line. He's going to beat the cone to go ahead of Dimmick. Marvelous. What a battler. Greg Manis there just checking his arms. This can cause some terrible bruising to the forearms and bicep. So in reverse order of the super yoke, Hudzanowski goes next. 75 meters shouldn't be too hard for him to beat, but Manis' final distance there, 78.55 meters. You can see this weight, it's so tall. 
different Husafel stones all over the world, but this is about the biggest I've ever seen. It must be bruising the faces of the athletes. It's got to be said, though, it has got quite nice handles that you can wrap your arms around. And that will be helping. To give you an idea, Fekedi and Minkvitz have already gone in this event. They only managed just over 40 meters. Podzanowski up to 75. Turn and go, and he's in the lead. He is now in the lead. But the Superman is making it look a little harder than he usually does. Can he get the 100 meters? He's got to get down and cross the line for the full 100. So close. He's done it. He's done it. He hasn't beaten his world record, but he's done 100 meters. Zedrunas Zervikas. The Lithuanian wrapping tightly around there. Now, in this event, men with big chests tend to struggle. Zervikas, his chest over 60 inches round. And that really is a huge chest. That's something like 180 centimeters round. 50 meters down, and he looks good for more. This is impressive, really is. Every time he breathes out, he can only take about half as much air back in again. He's got to be struggling. Oxygen debt. Strong men have to have great cardiovascular ability as well. He's done Bergmanis. He's gone into second place. Just how far can he go, though? 84.5 meters. Not far enough to trouble Pudzanowski. Two men still to go in the Husafelt stone. Sven Carlson, Viking power. If you check out his tattoos on his forearms, you can almost see it. He's got Viking power, Viking down one, power down the other. That's his trademark. And ever since World's Strongest Man in Zambia 2001, he's been shouting it loud and proud. Thing about Sven, he's very hit and miss. In the log press, he was definitely miss for a man who holds the world record in that. To fall out before the best guys. Well, Sven Carlson didn't do that well, really. 55.95 seconds. That's fifth from last. Out of the field of 10 guys now, now that Yanni Vietnam has dropped out. Sporting a funky 70s headband, it's Jarno Hams, the big Dutchman. Really starting to shine on the international stage. He's been around for a while, and if you don't know about him, you better learn about him, because he's here to stay at just 28 years old. This. He needs to beat Carlson at least to keep his points up. It would be good if he could go up and do over 75 and beat Bergmanis and Dimmick. He slowed to a halt. To a complete halt. He's on his back, gasping for oxygen now. The nurses will help him out, no doubt. Give him a few breaths of oxygen. There he is, what a physique, the winner of this event, Pudzanowski. Marius, it's your first win today, you're now in the lead. Are you happy? Uh, I'm not happy. Uh, my record uh, shield was uh, 127 half meter. Uh, today, uh, only 100. Uh, I'm not happy. I think he can still be very proud with that. 100 meters and the victory by over 15 meters. That's pretty impressive by anyone's standards. And with that event... Next event is the tire flip.
any one of these athletes would be incredibly useful if you had a puncture and you didn't have a jack. But these tires weigh 380 kilos. That's nearly 840 pounds. It's going to be a 25 meter course. They run head to head and it'll take eight flips. Eight flips of this tire isn't easy by anyone's standards. This is a lighter tire than we have seen, however, so I think it will come down to speed. All of these guys should complete the course. Pudzanowski in the lead at the moment, winning the last event. He'll go last head to head against Zadrunas Zavikas. <laughs> So far, we've seen Fekadi and Minkvitz go in this. Ruska and Johansson as well. The best so far. A time of 26.98 seconds by Rennie Minkvitz. Jarno Hams in the far lane. Sven Carlsen, the best in the world at this event, in the near lane. So quick, Carlsen. Down before the tyre even hits the floor. Carlson doesn't even use his legs, just hits it with his arms. Great time there. 24.77 seconds. What time? I think Hams can be pleased with his as well. 25.15 seconds. Pretty good time. Jarek Dimmick in the yellow from Poland against Latvia's Raymond Spurgmanis in the white. The pole in the lead at the moment, so quick at this, he's got football boots on, that helps his footing. Bergmanis, he knows the tricks of the trade, he's got the right footwear as well. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be a great time, maybe sub-20 if he doesn't make a mistake. Oh, what's he doing? He only did seven flips. Oh, Bergmanis wins, great result for the Latvian. 29.73 seconds by Bergmanis, not good enough to beat Carlson or Hams though. Pudzanowski against Zadrunas Savikas in the blue. Pudzanowski, you would bet, would win this, but Savikas on sparkling form. And it's Savikas who goes into the lead. This is really impressive. That was even quicker by Savikas. Pudzanowski under pressure now. He's trying to catch. Will he make a mistake? Oh, it's going to be close. One flip to go. Well, that is something else. Both of those men go into first and second place. The time, 23.19 seconds for Pudzanowski. Awesome by anyone's standards. 23.19. Well done, Marius. It looks like it's your day today. Yes, it is. It is now good events. No finish. Uh, no finish, only three events. Maybe finish, I may be happy. Thanks. That result is another good one for Pudzanowski. Two wins out of two. Bergmanis there doing well as well. That'll help his points. Overall, Pudzanowski in the lead, Zavika second. Jarno Hams has slipped back to third. Originating from the glens of Scotland are several of today's Olympic events, but one that didn't make it and was deemed too heavy was the 56 pound weight for height or 25 kilos for height. This is like trying to throw a five-year-old boy over a double-decker bus. We don't recommend you try this at home. Anything over five meters is world class. Five meters is about 16 feet in old money, and that would be a great throw. Not that long ago, when the world record was only 16 feet. I think we could see three or four men going close to five meters today. Coming in here at four meters 60. Failure so far by Fekedi, Dimmick, Johansson from Sweden, Shak Ruska as well, and even Sven Carlsen. Bad news for him, but great for Bergmanis. That's a personal best for him, I can tell you. 
I watched him going around the Scottish Highland Games circuit and he can never get the technique together. Sven sitting down, disappointed. He was complaining that this event is a bit of a lottery. That's definitely not true. It just takes a lot of technique and training. There goes the flowers. The set director is having a heart attack as his beautiful flowers get smashed. Savikas goes clear. Great throwing by him. Podzanowski with not the prettiest technique, but oh my goodness, all the power in the world goes up easily. This is a great traditional event. They're going for hundreds of years. The height cranked up to four meters 80. Can Bergmanis get this weight over? You see the weight, the handle is welded firm to the weight. Usually it's loose and that would give a whip. Nope, Bergmanis. Doesn't look good for it. You get two attempts in the weight for height in these competitions. Normally it's three, like high jump, but strongman, the rules are a little different. And the implement is slightly different as well. No, it's no luck for Bergmanis. As I said, without the loose link, you lose the whip of the weight, and that's got to be worth at least a foot 30 centimeters. Gardner Hams. Now I can let you in on a secret. He's been training very hard at this and with this particular implement. Good there at 4 meters 80. Now he was telling me more like 520, 530 he's worth. He only cleared that by about 10 centimeters. So he's going to have to find a little more power to clear 5 meters. Oh, Zadruna Zav Savikas. A man who's almost never done this type of competition, clearing it easily. Well, you can have all the technique in the world, but if you don't have the brute power, you've got nothing. Hudsonowski stays in as well. And that's it for 4 meters 80. Let's jack it up to 5 meters, see what these guys can do. Jarno Hams of the Netherlands. He's looking for crowd support. His girlfriend, his family, yeah. they're all here in the crowd. Yeah. This would be incredible. Six, oh my goodness, 16 feet, I was going to say. I can't help but think in the old Scottish way. It is five meters, and that is an amazing height. Savikas, the Lithuanian. Now, this guy, IPF silver medalist, that's powerlifting before he turned to strongman. One of the biggest squats in the world, and he really dislikes flowers. As he got it in. He had the height, just not the angle. Nope, not today. I think he's pretty happy with that. That's a personal best. Bud Zanowski, wild power here. <laughs> Incredible, really. It's like he's throwing a basketball up there. Truly, you can't appreciate how heavy that little lump of lead is. That is awesome. Throwing. The average man would struggle to literally chuck that over his own head. Now here, way over 16 feet. We've got the best in the world going at it. Five meters ten. Only a three inch increase. No, Hams getting his angle all wrong there. He was about a foot out from the bar. There's Val Zilstra, the man in the orange, world record holder in this. Now that is with the standard implement with the whip that you can gain with the link. That's over 5 meters 50, 18 feet 7 inches. Kind of helps when you're 2 meters 5 like Valtis. Can he do it? Oh, just a 
and no more. Yano Hams producing the goods on the last throw. Final man in the competition then. Five meters ten. Can he match Hams? Well, I'd say he had the height, if not the angle. Marius has got one more attempt. He looks good for it. Can he do it? I hope he doesn't. Honestly, I hope he doesn't, but I'm afraid he's going to do it. Yo, no. A breath of fresh air with his honesty there. Can he do it? No. The event goes to Holland. And all 11 points go to this man, Jarno Hans. Jarno, this is a wonderful result for you. Only two events to go. What have you got to say about the way for height? Did you expect it? Uh, top three. That's what I expected. Uh, I knew Sojourners was good in it. I saw it in, uh, in China last October, last year. Uh, Rene Mengfitz has always been good at this, so it was a little bit. It could roll on to the right side, and it did, and it could happen that uh, a third place. But I, I was counting on, on top three. Well, Minkvitz went out at four meters 80. Minkvitz has been good for five meters 40 in the past, so that was a real surprise there and a disappointment for the giant Dane. But that's mixed the points around a little bit. Pudzanowski in the lead, Zavika's third, Jarno Hams in second. This next event is part of the history of strength contests. It was inspired in Spain by farmers who used to lift the back end of a cart around its wheels. It was called the cast circle, but this weighs a whole lot heavier, 300 kilos. And in dedication to the great Scandinavian strength legend Conan, it has been named after him. Jamie, we're always seeing men collapsing in this event. What muscles does it tax? Well, first of all, it attacks the CV system. You've got to be very, very fit to walk with this kind of equipment, especially this kind of weight at 300 kilograms. The type of athlete who does very well with this are the really superhuman athletes like Marius Pudinowska, who I believe has never, ever been beaten at this event. Amazing, isn't it? There's no end to Pudzanowski's talent. He's done four revolutions with Conan's wheel. This, a standard weight of 300 kilos, but it's on grass in sweltering heat. I think anything over perhaps three revolutions will be magnificent today. Bergmanis to the bar. We've seen distances by Carlson and Dimmick up over 700 degrees. That's two revolutions just. Dimmick in the lead on 7.82. Bergmanis around one revolution comfortably. Raymond's turning from red through to purple slowly. The color of his face shows just how much oxygen day he's in. He's gone into the lead. This is fantastic. Goodness me. I so often see this man fainting in this event, but he's holding firm. Good result there for Bergmanis. 924 degrees. That's over two and a half turns. That's put the pressure on the other athletes. Zadrunas Zavikis, the man who is sitting in second position at the moment. It's going to be a battle. Sorry, he's sitting in third. Hams back in second. So it's really tight on points. He needs a good Conan's wheel at the moment. Goes round. Past two revolutions. Can he take Bergmanis? No, no. Not today, he can't. 806 degrees. That's the final result there. That puts him in the second position so far. Two men left in the Conan's wheel. Fekedi didn't even manage Easy. one turn. Minkvitz went, he managed just over a turn. You can realize just how hard it is. Look at Pudzanowski, he's jogging around with this. They say short steps is the answer. That's because it's so heavy, but look at this. Not if you have legs as strong as Pudzanowski. Can he go around past three turns? That's two and a half down, he's coming round. 
Thank for a third goal. one. That's it, he's done three turns. Can he go around for a fourth one? No. Not today, he can't. World record four is not under threat. Jarno Hams of the Netherlands. Had some great points from the weight for height. The 11 points there helped him back into second place. Just four and a half points back from Pudzanowski. Can you imagine if he pulls something out here? The door is open. Pudzanowski didn't take it for evolutions. Jarno Hams can be good at this. He was saying to me, though, his hamstring's starting to feel a little tight. Will that affect him? One and a half, coming round. Gaining points all the time. He's passing Johansson's mark. He's passing Dimmick's mark. He's passing Carlson's mark. Oh, he's fallen short. Has he beaten Zavikas? Let's have a look at the measurement. 8.06 to beat. Looks like it's going to be 8.33. He's done it. That puts him in third. Marius, Good points. He won the Conan's wheel easily. Is this competition over? You've got a comfortable lead now, but you can be caught. Uh, Conan's wheel is... Uh... Uh, really uh, good in my events. Uh, no other uh, uh, competition, uh, one event. Uh, Atlas Stones is uh, today is my back injury is no good. Uh, uh, Stones is back is uh, uh, maybe Stones is good. I uh, first place. No, it's uh, only second. Maybe. <laughs> Well, that is big news. Pudzanowski has hurt his back. Going into this last event, he's got a points lead over Jarno Hams of six and a half points, nine points ahead of the big Lithuanian Savikas. This is it, the final event here in the Netherlands. And it's very fitting that it should be the Atlas Stones, the most traditional of all strongman contests. In fact, the King of Scotland used to choose his top fighting man by his stone lifting ability. But things have moved on since then. The weight of these stones now, the top one, 400 pounds, 180 kilos. The big question is, will anyone have the energy left to lift this stone? Well, I don't know what the answer is yet. But can Pudzanowski hold off the challenge of the local man, Hams? No doubt Hams has trained hard at these stones. He'll know exactly how fast he can do the five stones. Pudzanowski with the bad back. Jamie, Pudzanowski has got a pretty big lead, six points. Can anyone beat him in this event? I hear he's got a bad back. Will that affect him? I think he's struggling a little bit with his back but I don't expect him to have a problem. I think if he gets four stones fast, that's going to be enough to win the whole competition. And Jarno Hams, were you surprised by his efforts? He's done well, but he's on home soil. You know, he's got the crowd behind him and uh, he's got everything going for him, but uh, we'll see how strong he really is if he can get six stones today. Sven Carlson on the stones. 120 stone looked easy. No problem at all for the Viking power. It'd be nice to see Sven finish in style. He's had a pretty mediocre competition for him. Down to the final stone. We've seen the likes of Minkwitz and Johansson go already. Can he do it? Yes, he can. He goes into the lead. 26.56 seconds, all five stones. Awesome stuff there. The leader at the moment was Yarek Dimmick. Sorry, it was Shak Ruska, 32.28 seconds. So, Carlson going six seconds faster. Demick failed to do all five. That will make it difficult for him now to qualify in the top six and get to the next Super Series. We'll have to see what the final points total is. Zadruna Savikas, though, he's in third. He needs a good time here to keep ahead of Bergmanis, who's in fourth. There's only... Three points, three and a half points in it between the two Baltic men. Final stone. What's the time going to be? Great time there, 32.13. That puts him ahead of Ruska, second behind Carlson. 
And it was a disastrous time in the end for Bergmanis. Only 24.23 seconds for the four stones. That's right, he didn't manage the fifth one. And that gives Zavikas an easy third place guarantee. Can he go ahead of Hams, though? Hams in second, three and a half points ahead of Zavikas. Hams needs to get all five if he's going to keep second. Maybe he can put the pressure on Podzinowski in first if he gets a good time. The fourth stone looks heavy. Gravity is heavy in Holland at the moment for this man. Sometimes it feels light, but it doesn't look light at the moment. 180 kilos. Just last year at this Grand Prix, only one man lifted this stone. We've seen several already. Well, I said he had a bad hamstring. Is it cramp? Is it a tear? It's certainly hindering his lifting ability. Goodness me, he's got to get this on as Avikas is going to go ahead of him into second. It would be so good to see this young man who hasn't really done well on the international scene so far come through in the second hole. Well, today he Hans medal will go to Jarno Hans. Zavikas, probably the silver, unless Podzanowski does something drastic. Well, there's no comforting that man now. He had a chance for glory there. Only six and a half points behind Podzanowski. That chance has gone. Will the man with a bad back be able to lift these stones? Nine point lead over the Lithuanian. He needs to finish at least one point ahead of Hams, who's in last at the moment. He's got to get that fourth stone up faster than Jarno Hams. Let's have a look. Can he get it up? Oh, without a problem. I don't know about this bad back. I think it's all talk. I've never seen a man with a bad back lift a stone quite so easily. Biceps bulging. He checks the time, no problem at all. Finishing in style, the world's strongest man from last year. He looks like he's gonna become world champion this year. Two events down and two wins in the Super Series. Congratulations, Marius, you're the champion. Is it the Polish power? Yes, Polska Gurom, ja tu rządzę. Yes, Polish power. Well done. Yes. Thank you very much. Next competition, maybe my. Yes, to ja. We'll be seeing Marius in Canada now. Victory in Hawaii, then victory in Holland. There's no end to this man's resources. He's got power in every single event he does. And the Atlas Stones just went and proved it. Sven Carlsen winning that final event, the Atlas Stones, in a great time, 26.56 seconds. But this day was all about Pudzanowski. Jarno Hams did do well. He finished in third in the end. Zavikas, a world-class strongman, hipping him for second place. Polska Guro. Polska Shia. To ja. Well, that's it for round two of this heavyweight contest. Three rounds still to go, however. But today, it was about Marius Pudzanowski, the Polish power. But don't forget the new find, Jarno Hams. And how about the Baltic boys, Big Ray and Zadruna Savikas? They're all still gunning for the Super Series World Championship. So join us next time in Canada.